Hello and good afternoon. Destin from Camping World in beautiful Center Conway. Wanted to do a quick walk around video of the 2020 Freedom Traveler A32. This is their 32 foot bunkhouse model produced by Thor and it's a Camping World exclusive version as well. So we'll start off on the door side here and work our way around the outside and make our way in. Starting off at the bottom here. The first uh, compartment that I'm going to get into is our battery box as well as uh, uh, the hydraulic uh, controls for the, the slide outs and everything. Spot for two batteries here, as you can see. And there, and there is the, uh, the chassis battery in the front as well. Moving on here, we have our outdoor entertainment center. It does have a sound bar on it as well. And that can control uh, uh, speakers inside and outside also. Propane tank right underneath there. This is a, uh, looks like a 30 pound tank to me. Uh, plenty of plenty of space for whatever you're going to need for it. Uh, should last probably, depending on where you're going and what kind of climate you're getting into, probably should last you at least a week if not longer. Moving on back here. Some outdoor storage. And this will be similar on the other side as well. This is all rotocast plastic with a drain at the bottom here. So you can just spray these out to clean them out nice and easy. Moving on back here. Another pass-through storage area, your electric cord. And then another one right back here as well. This does go all the way to the other end. So if you wanted to put in uh, a, sh uh, a thin kayak or, or maybe some, uh, some water toys or something of the sort. Underneath that, we do have a quick connect for our propane grill. If you wanted to add one right there. Our fresh water tank flush, this is a, our, our fresh water tank fill. This is a gravity fed tank, so you don't need a pressurized system to fill that. Full length awning, just about spans the full length of the coach. And as you can see, there's frameless windows on here as well. So it just looks a little bit cleaner than the, uh, than the original windows. Moving on to the off door side here. Some more storage compartments on the off door side. And again, all rotocast plastic. There's another one. And these are all lit too, so you can see what's going on when you open them up. They're uh, uh, motion sensor lights. Here's our uh, water controls. So this is where you would hook up your, uh, your, your sewer hose. There's our black tank flush right there, as well as our outdoor shower. Our 50 amp connection for power and our cable connection. I'm gonna keep moving back here. Here's the onboard Onan 5500 watt gas generator. This runs off the gas tank on the coach. And speaking of gas tanks on the coach, as we've walked around, you can see you haven't seen a gas fill yet. And the reason being, obviously I can't uh, make it back there right now, but uh, your, your fill for it is actually on the back of the coach. So you're not guessing where it is, what side it's on, and how far you have to pull up. So that makes life a little bit easier. Moving on in, let's go inside and check out the inside of the coach. All right, as you walk in here, as you can see at the bottom, a little storage area right at the stairs, our battery disconnect, all our light switches, and our awning in and out. Moving up here. Here's our driver's cab. So both of these chairs will swivel around and be part of the living area when you're parked and not needing it. We do have a power shade at the front and a couple curtains on the sides for privacy while you're parked. This is a uh, the Axera um, control panel, multimedia panel. It also works as a backup camera. Um, there's GPS uh, built into it. so. Uh, you know where you're going. It also, uh, the GPS on here also has a, um, sorry, big noise there. The GPS on here also is, uh, it'll tell you what your height is of the coach and what bridges to watch out for and everything else. Built on a Ford chassis, of course. On the passenger side here, you can see, has a nice little flip down desk, uh, in case you want to do some work while you're on the road. Charging port right there if you need to plug in a laptop or something like that. All right, a little bit of overhead storage over the driver's cab here. Nice little storage nook. And on top of this, this is a electric bed that will drop down. 
There's the uh, control for it in the back right there. And this will drop down for extra sleeping if you so need. Moving on, we have our dinette. And the dinette does have storage on both sides of it. Nice little pull-out drawer right there. Seat belts on both of these. Our TV right across from that. This will drop down pretty easily into a bed as well. You just take this here, push down on the table, and there you go. So a lot easier than the typical dinettes to try and convert. And across from the TV here, we have a couch that does have a couple cup holders behind it and seat belts in the couch as well. So you can drive with a small army in this, to be frank. Over the couch here, we have some more overhead storage, big storage container. There is a, a spot for a DVD player or something of the sort as well right there. The other side of that. And moving on back here, we work our way into the kitchen. Two bay metal sink with a residential pull-out faucet. Underneath that, we have a little sponge drawer as well as some full extension. Pull out drawers for your silverware, junk drawer, whatever you want to stuff in there. Underneath the sink, nice little cutout for a trash can. Over the top, some good storage for cups, bowls, plates, something like that. Moving on, I have a Dometic three burner cooktop. Underneath there, we have a pretty good sized oven actually. And underneath that, this is our uh, our connection for um, the uh, the water pump and everything else. It's underneath there. Moving on, we have a high point microwave. Just a little electric, a little electric microwave, kind of warm something up. Norcold, eight cubic foot, gas and electric fridge. So it will switch over automatically if you need it to. On top of that, nice little storage area. And over the door itself, there's another one. Here's the, the controls for the bed like I was talking about earlier. So that'll raise and lower it and this key can lock it into place wherever it may be. So it's not uh, dropping down on you while you're driving down the road. Let's keep moving back here. Here's the bunk area in this coach. Now, both of the bunks have their own window as well as have their own little TV down here as well. So, a little bit of privacy built into this coach. Um, across from that is the bathroom where we have our toilet. And this is a porcelain toilet, not a plastic one. A little medicine cabinet here for your toothbrushes, toothpaste. Good size countertop here as well. So, I know you don't see a whole lot of counter space in the bathroom in most of these motor homes, but you do get a little spot to set your stuff as well as a little storage nook right there and underneath the sink another little spot for maybe a little trash can or something another little storage area to the side of the shower here i just want to give you guys a little point of reference i want to stand in the shower just to show you i'm about six foot tall i have plenty of space here's the headroom i have there is a nice skylight on top of the shower so goodness you could probably be six 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 seven and still stand in there comfortably now, we have, these doors are pocket doors, so just slide them like so. We have one for the bedroom area as well. And moving on into the master bedroom, nightstands on both sides of the bed, king size bed back here. Charging outlets on both sides, and a couple pull out drawers as well. We also, opposite wall here, as you can see, big size wardrobe, so plenty of storage back here big cabinet for her clothes and underneath that some big pull out drawers too so clothes wise you got plenty of storage space back here there we go and last but not least have our little spot for the uh another little area back here more storage space underneath there and i just flipped up the tv to another nice little hidey hole. A lot of people will put safes back here or something else just because it's a it's a nice little hidden compartment that not many people would really think of. So I think that just about concludes our tour of the Freedom Traveler here. If I did miss something, please let me know. Again, my name is Dustin. My phone number is 207-595-6450. Thanks, enjoy.